Hello there. Hey guys, so today I am recording the, the, an episode of my podcast. It is Monday, and I actually remembered that I have a podcast. I keep forgetting, so hopefully me posting a video version will remind me that I have it so I don't just keep leaving it in the dust like I have been. Yep. Anyways, I'm going to get started now. I have my notes written out, and you can see my very um, minimal set. So, yeah. And I'm going to start. Thank you for joining episode three of Chat with Annie Cat. Today's episode is called Why I Joined the Hunger Games Fandom 10 Years Late. So I'm just going to be talking about uh, why I joined the fandom in general. And also I'll explain why I'm late to it. So I guess we can get into the why I'm late part first. And I have three reasons for it. The first one is pretty simple. It's because the first movie came out when I was seven, and I never would have watched that movie when I was seven. Back then, I was still watching Handy Manny and Fresh Beat Band, so yeah. I didn't see even Star Wars until I was 10, no, 11. Yeah, I was 11. So, that wasn't even anything I was thinking about back then. So, the se- and the books, I don't know when those came out. I guess I could look it up. I did, should have gotten that in my notes. Let me see. When did the first... I'm typing. Um, Hunger Games book come out. 2011. So that is the first... Wait, no, no, no. Hmm. 2009? How did did Catching Fire come out in 2009? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. 2008, I think it's saying here. So that, yeah, I would have been four years old when those first books came out. And that is way too young to read that or even have any knowledge about it so I would say the first time I was introduced to it was junior high because they had us listen to the audiobook of um the first book and it was super boring because the uh, the lady who read the book in the recording had like the most dull voice and she was British so it sounded like like a Siri she didn't sound relatable so it was just like really boring like there was no emotion at all and when you read it on your own it's very emotional and you can hear the voice in your head of the character and it's like it makes It's so, so, so much more interesting. But I can see why I didn't get into it back then. Because that audio recording was just so bad. So, that is the second reason why I didn't get into it in 2017. Which is when the last movie came out. And then the third reason, I would say, is because nobody talked to me about the books or the movies ever until March 6th this year uh, one of my friends one of my sister's friends um, now she's my friend too she had been talking about the Hunger Games and she was talking about the plot line and she was just so invested in it and I was like I I heard that a long time ago, and I don't really remember the ending. And then she said she would let me borrow the books, and I was kind of like, well, might as well finish what I started, because I don't know, I really don't remember. I think we finished the, the end of the book on audio recording, but I think everyone was just so loud, they were talking over it. 
I didn't I didn't remember it at all anymore except for the first couple chapters. So she gave me the first book to borrow and I read it so fast. It was super fast. I didn't want to put it down because I wanted to know what happened at the end. I think I read it in two days. And I had work on both those days. So I read it pretty quickly. Um, and then like every Sunday or Monday, she'd give me the next book. So I had three weeks of reading them. And then I think two weeks after that, um... I got, we rented the movie, we rented the movies, and then the week, no, 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 I think it was like a week after I finished the book, we rented the first movie, and then a week after that, it was the 10th anniversary of the movies, and we got all of them for $20, so I mean, if I'm gonna get into it late, might as well get into it at the 10th anniversary so that you get a good deal. And that's what happened. So we watched the movies within a week again. Yeah. And that's how I got into it. I mean, I have since then started on some edits from the movies. And I think I'll put a few of them up and see what you guys think on my channel because I don't know if any of you guys like the Hunger Games so we'll see I'm excited to find out but I am going to go through the reasons why I got into this series uh, now that I've explained how I got into it so the first reason that I like it is the character arcs. I am a huge fan of character arcs. I think that that's the main reason why the sequels, like, that's the biggest thing they were missing, I think. They did not complete their characters' stories, which, I mean, there were a few character arcs in The Hunger Games that weren't... It's, it really depends if we're talking about the books or the movies, because the books have perfect character arcs. Everybody in it has growth throughout the series. In just three books, they change so much. They become so much better. And it's just so interesting to see how they change. And how they start reacting differently to things. And then when you see who they are at the end compared to who they were, it's just like, wow... You can see how it was like, there's so much foreshadowing, even from the beginning, which is what I like. But it's just such a, when I say, you say wow, because it's just like such a complete arc. It's like this one major hurdle that they had at the beginning, they overcome it at the end. And I love that. It was really interesting seeing how also they introduced new characters without ruining the other characters or taking away from them. It only added to the main characters. It, like, Finnick, such a good character. I think he's my favorite. I mean, he has to be, because I'm Annie, so I have to love Finnick, you know. And then, Peta, such a good character. He's so good. And I love Katniss too, of course. She's so good. I mean, Kate Bishop herself approves of Katniss. So, and I love Kate. So how could I not love Katniss? Although I think it's kind of funny how, like, all the Marvel and, oh, like, Marvel archers. It's like, Katie and then Kate. Katniss so that's funny what is the second reason why I like it because I did not fill in my notes for the podcast this much or up until this point I have not finished my podcast notes so 
I guess I'll just have to think of a reason why I like it right now. Well, I guess one reason, the second reason I like it is because it's got a cool story about rebellion against an evil government. And that's kind of the premise of Star Wars. And I guess I just kind of, I like those stories because they're just so full of like courage and hope and bravery and it's nice to see people uh rise up against an evil government i don't i don't know i just love that so that's that's one thing that pulled me in about this fandom and then the third reason i would say um i would say it's just really fun the whole team pita and team gale that's so fun to be angry at gale yeah shamelessly it's it's fun and let me see another that's that's a minor reason i said i was gonna say three reasons why i like it but i have a lot more i mean there's so many good like quotes that you can reference that are funny and then another reason why I like it is because the book to movie adaption is pretty good. Like they didn't show everything, which I'm okay with, but they did a good job at cutting things out and like reshaping things. Like it's super clever how they just trimmed it down. Like they trimmed down the fat, just gave the story without like changing it entirely which I was watching behind the scenes video and they had debated on doing that and I'm so glad they didn't because it's so cool how they have full-on scenes that are exactly how I imagine them reading the book and I think that's my favorite part about it just seeing like them play out a whole scene and it's like that's that's just what I was thinking and I really loved that. That was really fun. I mean, Narnia kind of did that for the first movie. And I love the Narnia books. But the the other movies, after The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, they did not follow the story. And I did not like that. It was so, so annoying. And I'm just glad that with this one, it looks like they, well, with Hunger Games, they did stick with it. And... Let me see. Yeah, it could have gone so wrong, but it didn't. And I mean, also the casting was really good. Because Peta, he's exactly how I imagined him. And Katniss, I like, I had already known what she looked like. But she acts just like Katniss, even though she's a little bit too tall. And then Gale, he's just like Gale. And the only one that's kind of eh was Annie. Because they said she had brown hair in the books. And they just like straight up straight up gave her red hair. So I was like, why? But I guess it. I'm thinking maybe it's because like she's from District 4. And they wanted her to look more mermaidy or something. I don't know. Finnick totally looks like a merman. Just gonna say that. But, I mean... Yeah, Finnick, they cut out a lot of his, like, really good scenes. But, I mean, it's okay. I mean, they changed his, uh, what's it called? They changed his wedding to make it more sad, which I didn't like. I think that's my biggest thing that I don't like about the movies. Miss Finnick's wedding. Yeah. So... That brings me to my third segment of the podcast, this podcast episode, which is why I wish I wasn't late to the fandom. Three reasons why I wish I wasn't late to the fandom. And the first is, if I rant about things like Phoenix Wedding, that's like such old news. Everyone's gonna be like, uh... This is 10 years, this is like, well, for that movie, that's 2017, so three, five years. 
It's so five years ago for me to be ranting about a movie. Like, I mean, people still rant about The Last Jedi, I guess. Yeah. Those just came out at the same time. That's crazy. Anyways, maybe it's not that bad now that I think about it. There are plenty of people still ranting about The Last Jedi. So, I guess I have rights to rant about Phoenix Wedding. Okay, so maybe scratch that reason then. But, I do, I have some more reasons. The second one would be that the memes are so old and they're kind of cringy. And they're also, yeah, they're, they're, they're really cringy because the fonts, they're so old. There's like those, those memes that are like definitions that nobody does anymore. And some of the old memes just aren't really funny. So that's like one reason that's kind of sad. And then another one is all the fan accounts are like deactivated by now. Yeah, so there's no online presence really for it, which I think is sad. But, I mean, I still have my friends in real life who like it, but the silence on the internet is pretty sad. So, I'm going to have to bring it back on YouTube. I'm recording a podcast right now. She wants it back now. Well, I'm well, I'm finishing she, she up. Wants it back here. So, let me see. So, the last reason why I'm kind of sad I was late to the fandom is because the internet is pretty quiet in the Hunger Games area. I mean, I've looked for some content, and the latest stuff is from early 2020. And then there's a couple, Kate Bishop and Katniss edits, but they did not get much love. And that's pretty sad. That's I think that was like when I was like, oh no, it's kind of dead on here on YouTube. But I'm here to resurrect it. Next week, I think I will have an episode about Marvel or Star Wars. Because I guess a fourth reason why I don't like Hunger Games is there's nothing new. I mean, other than that one movie coming out next year at the end, there's just no new content. So that's pretty sad. So I, next week's episode, we'll be back to Marvel or Star Wars. And I will talk to you then. Bye. Also, guys, now I'm going to record a quick, um, what's it called? advertisement for my new wall collage that I'm selling. It is an Avengers Endgame collage. I can show it to you guys. Now, the total package has 218 pieces. And I just printed a couple of them to show you. They are 4x6s printed at hornphoto.com and I have a 10% off code that you can use to purchase them with. It's code AnnieCat, no spaces. So when you're checking out, you can get 10% off your print order. So here's a couple of them. They have a foam grain look, yeah. So you probably can't see it because I'm just using my webcam, but I'm gonna post a video that's better quality on my Etsy and you'll be able to see it there. Oh, not. So we've got lots of pictures. And I'm going to put them up on my wall. After I put my Empire Strikes Back collage back up here. I'll put these somewhere else in my room. So there you go. A sneak peek. And I'll talk to you in the next video tomorrow. Bye.